Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Before we begin today's daily quiz and important announcement, we are bringing to you two live workshops exclusively on the Baiju's Exam Prep app. One in Hindi and the other in English. In both these workshops, we will be discussing about the complete strategy that you need to keep in mind to crack the upcoming UPSC Civil Service Examination of 2023. The English workshop would be on 25th of June, that is Saturday at 6 p.m. You can register for the same by clicking on the link given in the description of the video. For the Hindi workshop, you need to join in on Sunday, that is at 26th of June at 11 a.m. Do remember, both these workshops are exclusively going to be on the Baiju's Exam Prep app, which you can download and join these workshops. It's important to register for these workshops beforehand, which you can do by using the link given in the description of the video. Now, let's begin the daily quiz for today. Question number one is this. Consider the following statements. Number one. Article 174, subsection 2, subsection B of the Constitution gives a power to the governor to dissolve the assembly on the aid and advice of the cabinet. Second, however, the governor can apply his mind when the advice comes from a chief minister whose majority could be in doubt. Third, when the house is in session, it is the speaker who can call for a floor test, but when the assembly is not in session, the governor's residuary powers under Article 163 allow him to call for a flow test. Which of these given statements is or are correct? The correct answer here is D. All the three given statements here are correct with respect to the powers that are given to the governor of a particular state. The reason why this particular topic is in the news is with respect to what is happening in Maharashtra. And now, all the eyes are on the governor as to when exactly would the governor of Maharashtra call for a flow test and how would it be possible for the ruling government to prove their majority. This article talks about the constitutional provisions about calling for a flow test and also the judgments given by the Supreme Court. The article says that in 2020, the Supreme Court in Shivraj Singh Chauhan and others versus the Speaker case of MP Legislative Assembly said that the powers of the speaker to call for a flow test are actually true if there is a prima facie view that the government has lost the majority. The governor also has these powers, but when the assembly is not in session. Article 175 gives a power to the governor to summon the house and call for a flow test to prove whether the government has the numbers. The Supreme Court also explained the scope of the power of the governor and the laws around the flow test that have to be followed. Next, question number two. Consider the following statements with regards to taxation on virtual digital assets in India. Number one, the TDS or tax deducted at source of 1% will be levied on the transfer of virtual digital assets effective July 1 if the value of transactions exceeds rupees 10,000 in a year. Second, the CBDT has defined four primary virtual digital assets, Bitcoin, Ether, USD Tether and USD Coin, which is used for the purpose of tax reduction on lesser known cryptocurrencies. Third, if two different cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether are being exchanged, both the persons will be considered as buyers as well as sellers. Therefore, none of them would pay any tax with respect to transfer of the cryptocurrency. Which of these given statements is or are correct? The correct answer here is A. One and two are correct. The third statement is wrong because the first part is right. If two people are just exchanging cryptocurrency and not buying it from each other, in that case, both the people will be considered as buyers and sellers. And then both of them would actually have to pay tax rather than any one of them. So the correct version of the third statement is in case of exchange of cryptocurrency, both people will have to pay the tax and the TDS of one person will be deducted if the transactions exceed 10,000 rupees in a year. The reason why we're discussing this question is because detailed guidelines on the TDS for virtual digital assets have been issued for cryptocurrencies by the Central Board of Direct Taxes. This particular article gives you all the details about the different situations under which taxes will be deducted. You can read this in detail on the Indian Express. Next question number three. Consider the following statements with regards to corals. Number one, the azuxanthellate corals are a group of corals that do not contain the zooxanthellae 
and derived nourishment not from the sun but from capturing different forms of plankton second the gulf of kutch in the northwest has some of the most northerly reefs in the world third andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep islands are rich with flourishing island corals which of these given statements is or are correct the correct answer here is d all the three given statements with respect to corals are absolutely true as you know corals are found in india at multiple places including andaman and nicobar islands lakshadweep gulf of kutch gulf of mannar etc the special characteristics of the corals which are found in the gulf of kutch are that they are some of the most northerly reefs in the entire world the reason why we are discussing this question is because four new corals have been recorded from indian waters as per the scientists these are azoxanthellate forms of corals which are a group of corals that do not contain the zooxanthellae and derive nutrition not from the sun but by capturing different forms of planktons these are deep sea corals and a majority of species are reported to have been from the depth of between 200 and 1000 meters next question number 4 consider the following statements with respect to kaibo lamjao national park or knlp number 1 The KNLP is home to the endangered bro antelier deer called Sangai in the KNLP. Second, it is located in the Bishnupur district of Meghalaya. Third, the national park is characterized by floating decomposed plant material locally called as fumdi. Which of these given statements is or are correct? The correct answer here is C. One and three are correct. The second statement is wrong because the Bishnupur district where this national park is located lies in the state of Manipur and not Meghalaya. The other two statements number 1 and number 3 are absolutely correct. The reason that we are discussing this question is because the state government is coming up with a proposal to shift the proposed heritage park to some other parts and the localites are now protesting against it. the local population is saying that the brown antelier deer which is found only in this national park has been preserved by the great effort that have been done by the local population and it does not make any sense to now shift this to a new place there are also questions about the loktak lake whether or not the local fishermen will be allowed to go ahead in the loktak lake or not if you remember questions on this particular national park have also been asked by the upsc in the prelims examination This particular variety of deer is also called as the dancing deer. Next is question number five, which is the previous year question from twenty twenty one. Bolgard one and Bolgard two technologies are mentioned in the context of number one, clonal propagation of crop plants. Number two, developing genetically modified crop plants. Number three, production of plant growth substances. Or number four, production of bio fertilizers. The correct answer here is B, developing genetically modified crop plants. This is where this technology comes into the picture. These two technologies actually help in developing genetically modified crop plants. For example, the Bolgard cotton ensures that there is a protection for cotton against the very very dangerous bollworm infestations, which contain insecticidal protein from a naturally occurring soil microorganism that is why it is called as bt cotton which has been given the commercial approval for india the bolga 2 technology contains an even superior form of this particular technology next we have a fact of the day and today we will be discussing about nicotine the reason why we are discussing this is because the us fda plans to require tobacco companies to reduce the amount of nicotine in traditional cigarettes hoping that it will make them less addictive and will also reduce the toll of smoking as of now each year close to 5 lakh people in the us actually pass away because of smoking related diseases the only other nation which has actually worked on this plan is new zealand This brings to notice the impact that nicotine has on the human body and how exactly can actually the governments work against it. Low nicotine cigarettes are available specially in the markets to customers who actually ask for it, but the governments now want that all cigarettes across all the brands should reduce their nicotine levels. 
22nd century groups VNL cigarettes very famous brand in the US contains 5% nicotine level as compared to other conventional cigarettes now nicotine is a plant alkaloid and contains nitrogen it is found in many several types of plants including the tobacco plant also and this is the component of cigarette which makes it much more addictive it is sedative in nature and it is used as a direct substance in e-cigarettes also regular cigarettes also have nicotine but e-cigarettes have much larger content of nicotine as compared to the natural regular cigarettes chewing and snorting tobacco products also releases much more nicotine into the body than just smoking in 2019 the government of karnataka had amended its law and notified that nicotine will be considered as a class a poison so there are usually class a and class b poisons as per the law in india class a are those which are much more dangerous much more poisonous as compared to class b this is all that you needed to know about the nicotine and its harmful effect thank you so much for watching the daily quiz video